All right, let's start working on our listing model and the CRUD actions. We can start by going to terminal and type php artisan make model and we would call it listing with an a flag so remember this a flag will create all the documents we need for a model including the model itself the factory migration seeder controller and policy and also these two requests which we don't need and we will delete them so now let's go back to our project and start by going to the migrations folder under database and the last document should be our create listings table so this is where we can define all the columns for our listings table in our database so let's just start by grabbing the table inside this create method and we want to have a foreign id so the name of this column should be user underscore id because this way laravel knows we are referring to the users table and the column id then we want to say this is constrained of course and also I want to chain cascade on delete so if a user is deleted and then their listings are deleted as well then we will have a title so let's say this is a string the name of the column is title we will also have a description of type text you could also choose long text or tiny text depending on how long you expect this description to be so notice all of these columns are required now let's grab the table again and the string column which i would call a tags but i want to make this nullable so if there are no tags that's fine then i will copy paste this a few times change the name to email and link and image and all of them are nullable and type string and of course i'm just using these names as an example you could have any property or column you want with any type and lastly i want to have a boolean column that i would call it approved and for this i would have a default value and the value would be false so when a user creates a listing it would be disapproved at first and an admin user would have the ability to go in and approve that all right so this is our listing migration document and since we are here and we will have roles let's modify our user migration file as well so if we open the migration folder again the first one should be create users table and we have this up method with all the default columns that comes with a laravel application now somewhere in this area we want to add another column so we can say table and it's going to be type string and the name of that will be role but i would also have a default value for this which i would call a general and that would be the role of every user when they register all right so now we have one added column to our users table we have all these columns in our listings table which it doesn't exist at the moment but we will run the migrations later on now we can close these two and open our app folder and models so now we have two listing and the user let's just start by going to the user which is easier and say that a user has many listings so we want to create a relation between the user and a listing so at the very bottom let's create a public function which i would call listings and we want to return this which means the user class has many listings so we will pass our listing class in here so that is our first method inside the user model so we can grab the user's listings using this method or property now let's open our listing model and first we want to create our fillable array so let's say protected and fillable so this is going to be an array with all the properties that needs to be filled through a form or some other source so we will have title we will have description and let's just copy paste this a few times and change the name that's easier so we will have tags email link image and approved and then after that we will have another public function which i would call it user and again we want to return this meaning the listing model belongs to a user all right so that is the relation between a listing and a user and in here we have a similar function which is the opposite of what we did in the listing model now the next step is to create our routes and if you take a look at your http folder and controllers we have our listing controller which is a resource controller that means we have all the methods for doing our CRUD actions so we don't actually need to do anything here for now but we can go to our routes directory and web.php and create our routes here but before doing that i just want to show you if we type php artisan route colon list in our terminal this will give us all the available routes and we have our authentication and the profile routes but we can go back to web.php and add all the listings route so we can easily do that by using the resource method which is available on the route facade itself so this will take a name and i will call it listing and the controller 
so we can pass our listing controller here and end the statement. Just by adding this line, if we go back to the terminal and run the previous command, you notice now we have all these routes that belong to listings added for us. So the first column here is the HTTP method. The second column here is the route or the URL. Then we have the route name and the function and the controller which is in charge of handling that request. So for instance, when we go to forward slash listing, which is a get route, the index method in our listing controller will handle that. And that is the name of the route. But I don't want to use this one. I want our homepage, which is a forward slash, to be our listing homepage. So we can exclude that from our resource routes. All we have to do is to chain the accept method to our resource routes and pass in the name of the method or methods we want to exclude. In this case, I have only one, so I can pass a string and say index. If we had multiple ones, we could pass an array and say index or create and edit and so on. So now if we save this and check our route list again, this time we don't have a get route for listing. We do have one, but that is a post request. So it is excluded from all of these routes. And now we can change this inertia route to use that index method in the listing controller. So let's do this. I'm going to move this above our listing routes and change this method to get. The URL is gonna be the same. And as the second argument, we want to pass an array and then listing controller class and the method index. And of course the name, I will keep it as home. And again, back to terminal, if we take a look at the routes again, this time we have our home route up here, which is looking at index method in the listing controller to handle that. So let's do that. We just want to return the home page or home component in this method. So let's open a listing controller and inside the index method, we just want to say return inertia and render home. So on our website, we don't see any changes, but now this method is returning the home component. So later on, we will add the listings to this and show it on the home page. Now we are going to go through all these methods one by one, but I want to start with index and apply the filters, which can get quite complicated because we will have some advanced filtering or multiple filters or parameters. So we will spend some time on this index method and how to apply filters and how to show the listings properly. But since we don't have a way to create one, I would like to use the listing factory and seeder to fill our database with some data. So let's prepare that part as well. So I'm going to close everything here. Then in our database folder under factories, we have a listing factory. So we have our definition function, which is returning an array. And in this array, we can pass all the properties our listings table need. So the first one is user ID. And for the value, we can use the fake function, which is a faker class. And we have a lot of methods available. For example, I can say random element, which would take an array. If I say, for example, one and two, then the value of user ID would be either one or two. So at the moment we don't have a user, but we will create two users. So we will have a user. Otherwise this will give us an error. Then we will have our title. So again, we will use the fake function and let's use a sentence, which by default has the maximum of six words, but we can say, for example, 10 or any number. So then we will have our description. So I'm just copy pasting that line and change this method to paragraph. So this method will take a number as the number of sentences. Let's say, for example, 10 or 12, doesn't matter. Then again, I duplicate the line and change this to email. We actually have an email method, so we don't need a number here. This will give us a fake email. Then again, we will have our link. So we have a URL method. And then I want our tags. For the tags, I can use the random element again. And for the values, I will just use this one. So you notice these are just a string, but comma separated. And that is how we will handle tags. And using this method, we will choose one of these as the value randomly. And lastly, I will set the approved of all the records to one, which is going to be true. So we will have them all approved. And we don't have to worry about image because that can be null as well as these other columns, but I want to use these values. So this is our listing factory and we can use it in the database seeder, but we still need two users. 
so let's open our user factory here and by default we have some values already included we have some name email and email verified at so this is good we don't have to worry about verifying an email and some hashed password and the remember token so we don't have to change anything here we just want to create two users and next step is to go to our seeders folder and open database seeder so we already have this example which we don't need we can delete that and bring back this line which is creating 10 users but we don't need 10 we can say 2 and repeat the same process for our listings so we can import our listing model up here and then use the factory method to create as many instances as we want let's say 20 and we just want to chain the create method so this run method in database seeder will create two users and 20 listings now let's run a fresh migration since we changed our user table and also seed the database. So in the terminal, I can say PHP artisan migrate colon fresh, and this will create our tables. And then I can use PHP artisan DB colon seed to seed our database. So this is successful. And now let's open our database, see what we have. So let's just start by going to the users. We have two users with this information and they are verified and we have the role as general for them since that was the default value. And then in our listings table, we have 20 records and you notice the user ID is either two or one. So it's randomly chosen and also the tags and we have some random emails, random links, and no image, and all of them are approved. So now the next step would be list all of these listings on our homepage based on some criteria, And we will do that in the next video, but this was just about the preparation and we are done with this part. So see you at the next one.